Friends, Pastor Keith here with you. Uh, really excited to uh, jump back into our study of the book of Acts this coming Sunday after having a, a brief week away from that study. Uh, this week we'll be in Acts chapter 4 where we see that uh, that mission that Jesus gave to the disciples to be his witnesses beginning in Jerusalem is now fully underway. Uh, just as a reminder, leading up to chapter 4, Jesus uh, gave his people uh, a, a purpose. Uh, he gave them a plan, and then he gave them power. Uh, on the day of Pentecost, he empowered them by pouring out his Holy Spirit. Uh, and so what you see then after that is, is the early church uh, uh, preaching in the power of the Spirit. Right? As the early church uh, gathers around uh, Jesus Christ and is centered on Christ, they then go out uh, into Jerusalem to preach in the power of the Spirit. And then what God does is he, he does many signs and wonders through them. And so they're preaching, the apostles are preaching, and the apostles are doing these signs and wonders that God is working through them. There's, there's, there's wonder and there's word, but the emphasis is on the word. And so uh, last time we were in Acts, we were in Acts chapter 3, and when we saw there was a wonderful sign that was done, uh, a man who had been crippled from birth uh, was healed, and he began walking and, and leaping and praising God. And then uh, after that wonder was done, Peter went on to, to preach the word. He went on to explain what this wonderful thing meant. And it, and it was a reminder to us that, um, uh, that, that the wonderful acts and uh, miracles and, and great things taking place, those are good, but they're not enough. What you need is you need words to connect the dots. You need words to explain what these wonderful things mean. And so one of the questions for us as we come to Acts chapter 4 then is, is, is are we committed to speaking the words about the good news of Jesus Christ that need to be spoken? Because one of the things that we're going to see in Acts chapter 4 is that the early church, they spoke with boldness. That's the repeated emphasis of chapter 4. They spoke with boldness. Uh, friends, are we committed to speaking the gospel with boldness here in New York City? But then the other question that we really need to consider as we uh, come to chapter 4, and it's kind of the question that we always need to consider, is, 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 is as the word is preached, how do people respond to it? How do we respond to the word of God when it's preached? How have we responded? How are we responding? And so one of the things that you can, you can do to really prepare yourself uh, to gather with God's people this coming Sunday to worship uh, is to ask God to help you hear his word and to respond with faith. Ask God to help you hear his word and then respond with faith. Let me pray for us for the rest of the week. Uh, Father God, I thank you for these men and women. I thank you for uh, the fact that you have shown your grace and mercy to us in the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you that you have given us your word that we might know you. Uh, please, I pray, give us ears to hear. Give us hearts that are humble that we might respond with faith. Uh, we pray that you would do this for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.